action. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So here I am today in a island, in an island rather, called Koh Samet in Thailand. Let me just show you a little bit around. Beautiful, stunning island. Uh, it is amazing really, it's so beautiful here and you get a lovely breeze so you don't get the heat of what I consider the main line, mainland of Thailand. Very, very beautiful. Anyway, back to the video. Samsung have issued a warning uh, on all Samsung uh, X Web 3 models. I apologize about the sound, hopefully you can hear me okay. I forgot to a lot of people are buying these sort of things, lens protectors. This theoretically is a high quality one. I'll just take it off so I'm not going to use it. Voila. And you stick those obviously on the back like so. And the idea is it protects your lenses. What Samsung is saying is that these, a lot of them claim to be good quality, but in reality they're cheap plastic and they scratch easily, which of course will distort your image. Secondly, because it creates a vacuum, condensation will go in there causing major, major problems including water damage and also you could have problems focusing uh, all makes sense to me I have tried one of these I found it did distort the quality a little bit did I notice it no but what they're also saying is once it's in there because it's only attached to the rings Continue use of this goes in and out your pocket. It's going to move a little bit. Dust is going to go around there. Very difficult to clean, very difficult to clean in there. And then you're going to have major problems moving forward. The third major factor in using these or not using them is under this camera, and every Samsung camera pretty much has a similar uh, uh, setup. Under that lens, you can't see it, but I'll post it uh, on this video there somewhere on the side. There is a very, very, very small camera. It's not camera, sorry, a very, very small microphone. And that is used to pick up, obviously, sound when you do video. Also, I believe it's used that when you make phone calls, and that picks up the sound and deletes that sound for, so you have crystal clear calls it actually gets rid of any background noise so obviously if you're using that you are now stopping that microphone from working important factor the other factor they've also mentioned is uh, some of these kind of cases now this case is a great case from scooch i've done a separate video about that where if you have a case like that um you're going to have no issues at all. It protects all the lenses. Easy to clean because it's one big go. If you have another case like, again, I'll show you here, like one of the Samsung original ones. Um, I just I put it on the screen with an individual cutout. If it's a Samsung one or a good well-known brand, it will have a miniature cutout. You can't even see it for the microphone. Um, but some of the very cheap no name ones don't have that and the sound is distorted i can do a test to prove that if you would like to see that let me know in the comments finally uh, some hints and tips how to keep these uh, lenses clean and how to keep this clean i'm going to show you this i'm going to as, as you can see a very, very sunny location this is the s23 ultra no glare no fingerprints even though it's very very hot and shiny where i am and it, um, with this screen protector, which is no reflections, just tap on it. Fantastic. Look at that. Works every time with the fingerprint. However, how to keep these things clean? Two separate things. How to keep the this part clean. This little gadget. You can go on Amazon, eBay. There's loads of them. Very well designed, because when it's like that, you can't really press it down. You take it out, like so. You can then take the spray out to refill up. It's designed as a glass cleaner designed for the screens of mobile phones. Uh, what you do then, let me just take it out, just put it on. You can screen, be very careful. You can put it directly onto the phone. And then, look at this. You can actually see it does 
it does a fantastic job actually. It will still work with the case on. And if, you, if you've got the, any case on, you just move left and right, left and right, left and right. Look at that. And it, after use, look at that. Dries in a second. Perfect. Look at that. No fingerprints. It's really kept it clean. Uh, and then to keep it clean, that goes back in. I think it's very clever. To stop this getting dirt and dust, goes in this little plastic container, only one way, because you've got that groove there. And it is, and you can't press it down by accident because it's locked out. That's great, when I talk about that. Also, doing all the research on how you keep the lenses really clean, I've noticed if you use just a normal uh, lens cleaner, cloth that is, um, it doesn't do such a great job. There's loads of dust within the grooves. You can see there's dust here everywhere. So these are made by Zeiss, as in Zeiss lenses, designed for the job. And you just do this. It. They stay not oops. <laughs> Shouldn't do that, but I'll make sure I don't use that section. Nice and moist. And I'll get up to it in my hand so you can see easier. Clean it all around it. it. These are not normal tissues, obviously. They were kind of cloth that's impregnated with the chemical. No, I use the word chemical. It's a chemical designed for this by Zeiss really going to go in there and you've got to press hard to get rid of some of the grime and grease when your fingers or have accidentally touched the phone and go around like that you could use a earbud just for the outside and if I do it again and clean the sensors there and of course do the same with the front camera there and then Look at that, perfect. You can actually see no marks, no grime, nothing. I'll even give a little wipe to this. And unbelievable. So for more hints, tips and tricks, any questions, let me know. I uh, hope these recommendations will help you. 